Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? But y'all, I'm finna get started uh, milling up some of these pine logs right here that I had stacked up. And uh, I'm gonna just show you right here what I'm doing here. I got uh, like a tube, well, it's a piece of a tube bait, I think. I cut it some off. But I uh, just need like a straight edge, and I just screwed it down, kind of level across this log. And uh, I'm gonna take my first slab off, and then I'm going to uh, adjust my chainsaw mill right here to uh, six inches and I uh, cut it out that way then I have to uh, cut the edges off get me a six by six uh, can't so I can get started and show you how I do that swept off here and uh, I couldn't make my mind up if I wanted to 6 inch or 8 inch. I was, I was thinking about 6 but I decided to go ahead since these uh, logs are clean big enough just go ahead and do some 8 inch cans. So 
So I adjusted my last console mill attachment here to eight inches. And uh, so I'll go ahead and cut this out eight inches and then I'll show you uh, me leveling up the cutting the sides off there. Mm-hmm. 
let me show you right here what you do next i just flipped this log up on the side here and i put my board on top and uh, you want this board uh level down through there and then you want to take you a square and put across your board you can see right there you want it as square as possible it don't have to be perfect but you need to be real close there and uh you see right down here um Right there is pretty close, so that's what you want. So now I'm fixing to get, go ahead and rip this uh, off. And uh, let me show you right here on the end here. So what you want to do here, I want the most of this uh, center of the heart here as I can get. So I kind of estimate my distance here to eight inches here, you know, to get most of it. And then I adjust my half of this from the top to the, where the top of the eight inches I want it. So uh, I'm ready to... Uh, Go ahead and uh, start cutting. Let me get my ear muffs here. That's the next thing. Uh, when you're doing this, uh, make sure you're wearing ear protection and some eye protection uh, because it's going to be loud because you're going to be running that saw for a little while down there. y'all i've got to do this uh this handle here i had to adjust this handle a while ago you want this handle to kind of be in the center of your top board and i forgot to adjust that and you see what had just happened just kind of pull it off the side so let me get my uh, wrench i'll be right back and i gotta adjust that all right y'all here's what i was talking about here um you just want to get this here good and you know square against your cant there and then just uh you're gonna move this handle Kind of over toward the center or you know it don't have to be exactly to the center but it needs to be at least on the edge or like that that'd be a good idea you know just kind of put to the edge where it has good support when it goes down through there of course your board is wider ideally you want a wider board than this but this is what i had handy so that's what i'm using but you just want to make sure when you're cutting this is good and brace <laughs>
right y'all hey it turned out real good let me show y'all no square and everything you put your square on top you can't see that right there it's off a little bit there but that don't matter much let me get to come down here some see it's pretty square there so that's what you want uh for a rough cut piece of uh timber like this and uh just a you know i don't know how much it costs now which is say 100 to 200 dollars for a attachment now you do need a pretty good saw that's a steel ms 440 and uh what i'm using it there's a 24 inch bar but you know you can have 28 inch bar 32 i think i carry 32 inch bar on those but uh a while ago you might have seen my uh muffler had some smoke coming off of it. that's where i spilled some oil it wasn't a saw that was overheating or anything uh, I've been doing this a long time with that particular saw. It's a good saw. Uh, the main thing you need a, a good sharp ripping chain, uh, standard you know cross cut chisel chain uh, won't necessarily work. Uh, you can cut the angle back to like say about eight to ten degree angle on a regular one, and it will. I've done it before; it will cut. But it's better just to go buy a ripping chain. That's what it's made for to rip these uh, uh, cants out, and also like if you want. Uh, Say right now, if I want to go back and cut me, say, uh, say uh, two baits out of it, one bait, I'm good to go now and go ahead and start cutting out. Uh, but in this particular situation, I'm wanting to cut a uh, can out of it. But uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. I appreciate y'all coming along. If y'all got any comments, any suggestions there, just leave it down below. And I appreciate y'all watching. As always, friends, for my family years, y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.